Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It was a very brief introduction of EduFam. And uh, as the program will progress, we are going to speak more about EduFam International and what exactly we do and where we are going, looking forward for the collaboration today. And this launching of Almanac is basically the purpose is to collaborate with the mentors, with the uh, trainers, with the uh, people who, uh, who are like-minded and they are ready to collaborate with EduFam International Academy. So before we go into the formal lounging of Almanac of EduFam, let me invite today's distinguished guest of this evening. Uh, I received one message that a bottle of water can be 50 cents at a restaurant, at a, at a supermarket, and $2 at a gym, and $3 at a movie, and 6 on a plane, same water, only things that change is value was the place. So the next time you feel your worth is nothing, maybe you are at the wrong place. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that who has shared this with me? Yes, very proudly I can say that it was shared by Dr. Afrozul Haq, who is the Vice Chancellor of HA University, Imphal, Manipur. And I was greatly impressed by his, this message. And I request now Professor Dr. Af Afrozul Haq Sahab to kindly share his vision with us and say a few words on this occasion when we are going to formally launch EduFam's Almanac. Yes, Afrozul Haq Sahab, over to you. You can unmute yourself, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. So can I, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sadia, for a nice uh, brief introduction. Uh, I welcome all the participants, uh, boys and girls, little angels. And uh, I congratulate you, uh, Dr. Sadia, for doing a wonderful job. When I was uh, watching a very brief video uh, from you on the LinkedIn, asking these small kids to register on LinkedIn, it shows that you are putting a confidence in their lives. And Dr. Sadia, you are building their confidence and determination. This is really the foundation of building the future of lovely kids. I'm sure these kids will be full of energy and brightness. Also, the interact interactive sessions uh, are amazing that you are doing, for example, with whom you communicate, so the, the kids are replying with the God, with the mother, with the teacher. This is really amazing. Okay. Now I will come to uh, the points of uh, some educational uh, advices and suggestions that are given by uh, United Nations Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF. Five ways to help uh, the set your, your child up for future success as recommended by UNICEF. Stimulate baby talk and treat it as real conversation. Read to your kids 
to exercise language, use everyday experiences as learning opportunities, take play seriously and lead by example. Five key principles in early education that ensures a great foundation for a bright future and early education that every educator needs to keep in mind when imparting early education to children. Every piece of curriculum designed as part of an early education plan has to be for the children, by the children, and of the children. Essentially, the entire onus of the education should never ever deviate away from children. Every child has an own pace of learning, different facets of life, education, and his pace needs to be respected. Allow them to be themselves, never ever drawing any comparison, but at the same time, encouraging and nourishing their intimate, innate talents. Every child interprets the environment in a different way, and every way is unique and beautiful. Celebrate children's imagination. Children have a natural imagination and are great researchers. This gift needs to be always encouraged and supported by adults, teachers, whether they are teachers or parents. Build relationship, not contrast. Every child needs a fully understanding teacher to impart the right type of education. Educators can be most effective when a very open and constructive relationship is built with the child. Listening, observing, and interacting are the key pillars of this relationship. As I have seen in your, your videos that you invite the guests or your teachers to interact with the kids exactly the same manner like listening, observing, and interacting are the key pillars of this relationship. An effective child development plan contains past knowledge about the child and new information gained by educators to be able to cater to the child's unique needs, build trust and support each child to thrive. In fact, what I feel that the way that you are training your kids, you are teaching your kids, or little children or angels, it is unique. And when I was studying, it is a different, uh, you know, it was different era. But now even when you send a link to a kid and ask the kid to open this, I mean, this is, this is a beautiful teaching. I mean, they, from the, this is early stage, they start learning the technology and how to open uh, the links and open the files and, interact okay the brain learns best when having fun okay learning can and should never be a show positive environment reinforce learning and if imparted the right way every piece of knowledge is stored as a long term memory when children are having fun learning happens effortlessly in such environments, children tend to see stress as a challenge instead of as a threat. Their creativity rises, energy levels rise, and they become more resilient. All of this leads to an increase in optimism, confidence, determination, which leads to happiness. Build character to build a strong generation. Learning is fun but at the same time can be exhausting as well. Children tend to build character with every step of learning and it upon the educators to create the right example for them to emulate in an almost unconscious and natural process. Children follow the examples set by others around them, modeling behavior and the accompanying emotional tone. In this tender age, the, the children learn, listen to the teacher, listen to the mom, teacher, listen to the dad, and they 
their power of getting knowledge and new things every day, every moment is a unique in all the children. And I congratulate you once again, Dr. Sadia, for your beautiful way of training and interacting and educating the children in Edu family. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your motivational words. And we are really honored with your benign presence this evening. And your words really mean a lot for all of us. Thank you very much for encouraging us. Believe me that our children are fantastic. They just need some grooming. They just need some attention and they can do wonders. In some fields, they are even better than us that I have realized while interacting with them. And every day they even teach us something. That is the unique qualities of our children, today's children. So thank you very much, sir, for encouraging us. Now, since Mr. Mahendran has joined us, so early, early in the morning from USA, respecting his time, I would like to request to invite him to speak a few words on the Almanac launching day of EduFam International. Yes, Mr. Mahendran, over to you. Happy evening, happy evening, everyone. I'm so very happy, thrilled you not know, to be part of this uh, special session like EduFam International Academy proudly presents this you know, Al almanac launching event. The life can always be seen in this way, right? Me till now, me here now, me here after. And when we look back, what a wonderful year of accomplishment, you know, what the academy has brought, what powerful seeds it has seeded you know, in uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, people, right? So there are about 5,000 kids who have been transformed. It's a very big number, I would say. And I'm sure this is going to outgrow in multiple digits, adding next to it year after year. And uh, wishing each and every one of you the big, big, massive success. And I take this uh, time, you know, to uh, sincerely salute all the guests of honor, uh, Dr. Uh, who has uh, given such a beautiful, great uh, speech, the, the Honorary Vice Chancellor, uh, Dr. al -Rafur. I'm sorry about it, Dr. Afrazul, Huck. as well as, you know, it's, it's Mr. Okay. It's difficult to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> can say lots and lots of sincerity and honor. <laughs> and Dr. Ram, you know, for introducing to this wonderful, you know, panel. And uh, Dr. Alka, Dr. Uh, uh, Halima Saadia, who has been doing amazing, especially, you know, bringing the people across the world and, you know, bringing and, you know, showing them the exposure. It's so very important, you know, the kids are getting that international exposure. And it's definitely, you know, is going to create much, much a greater impact. Right. And then uh, Mr. David, uh, Mr. Nara Subramaniam from Malaysia, then uh, Mr. Samir and, you know, all the amazing students, adults, everybody, you know, happy, happy evening. I just want to share a few um, key insights. Generally, it's told that, you know, knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is the real power. Knowledge is just a potential power. So I sincerely request each and every one of you are challenge each and every one of you to turn that knowledge into action. And then that action will bring that accomplishment. And time has always been seen as an asset. I would also say that there's one more important asset in our life, which is the focus. Focus is very, very important, especially as you all are, you know, growing up, you know, getting, stepping up as a future leaders. It's so very important that, you know, you stay focused, stay disciplined. Discipline, I call it as a self-love. It's a tough self-love, let me put it this way. I know it is a little challenging in the beginning, but once you build the discipline, the discipline will build you. Once you build the habit, it might look a little challenging in the beginning, but once you build the habit, habit will build you. The same way, the old you would have brought the old result. You want to become a new you so that you can experience the new result, all right? So for that, I would like to just give this quick analogy and then, you know, I'll conclude my speech. I want to share about uh, 2D, 2B and 3D. 
technique, right? So all of you are ready. Now feel free to take this journal, right? All of you. And uh, two B, which means two birth. Each of us are having two birth and three death. Okay, that's what I'm going to talk about. So two birth, the first birth is, of course, the soul as almost 4.3 billion years old DNA, which is the inheritance within us, right? So the soul doesn't have a, a real birth, but which came as a human form. And then we have a human birth date, right? We all know, you, you, each of you will know your birth date. That's the first birth. There's a second birth is once you know where you are born, right? The purpose, once the purpose is clear that where you are born, then it's a second birth. And then once you identify it, you will not even waste single minute, single second in your life because you will continue working passionately towards your purpose. I highly urge each and every one of you to find your purpose. I'm sure this, you know, uh, Edufam, right? Definitely Edufam uh, Academy will help you, all the mentors across the world. You know, we, we are all going to just come show up our face and then come interact with you in future. And then, you know, you can find your purpose and then just find your ikigai. What is that? And then stay with that, stick with that, right? Then the three death, I'll quickly wrap up. And then, you know, um, I'm looking forward to listen to other wonderful honorary speakers. The first death, when you lose the inner child within you, what it means, the inner child is always enthusiastic, imaginative, and uh, curious to learn. Always, you know, you have the kind of, you know, sense of creativity. So all those are the forms of the small children, right? When you are a child, you are easily forgiving. You are loving. You are uh, always, you know, explorer. You are a game changer. But as we grow as an adult, slowly and slowly people lose that, right? So we don't want that first death to happen, whereas, you know, you lose the inner creativity, inner curiosity, inner imagination, all those, right? High five? Yeah, that's the first D. Then the second D is what we human being deserve to live in this world up to 120 years. If you can just go look at, you know, the person who can live for longer, who has lived longer in this world, even more than 120 years. That means we have a capability to live in this world. If we take charge of our eating uh, uh, healthy food, building the healthy habit, and having a right lifestyle, we'll be able to live longer, right? It's not, you know, life is not short. Like many people say, you can really live longer. So you can postpone the second death up to 120 years. High five, yeah. Then the 3D, it's a very, very important. I wanted to say that the last impact what you have created in this world for example if you have put a seed then the seed started growing which furthermore gives a lot of fruits a lot of seeds a lot of shadow that means it's going to live even beyond your life the same way what sort of impact you wanted to create in this world right we will be known forever by the tracks what we leave behind if we can really leave the good tracks good uh, impacts in this world you will be known forever, my dear friends, forever. That's how all the legends like you know Einstein, Edison, I can, we can keep saying you know all uh, the greater people, right? Um, Muhammad, Jesus, you know all you know the great amazing contributors to this world who has created such a huge impact who live forever, right? Each of us can be the legend you know to build so that the third death also can be avoided. So I hope you all had some good takeaways from this. Wishing each and every one of you the most amazing success. And we cannot really wait to see all your success stories, to listen to all your success stories. Wishing you the best of the best. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Dr. Halima. Thank you very much. It was really very philosophical. And it was really, uh, the dialogue which I love most is, was that discipline is self-love. And if you love yourself, discipline yourself. And then the discipline will make you. Really, it's really beautiful. And what I believe in is that we all are waiting for our death. Everybody is waiting for the death. But we all know that before death, there is a long passage that we all have to cross. Now, how we cross it, it depends on us. Whether we are going to make it memorable for the world, 
or whether yeah, we are going to make it measurable for the world, it's up to us. That's what is the life. And that's what we have to understand. Thank you very much, Mr. Mahindran, for sharing such philosophical talk with us. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, briefly, let me just show you the glimpses because there are many new joinees this evening. They may not be knowing very well about what exactly we did last year. So uh, these are the glimpses of EDUFAM. Uh, EDUFAM International Academy has three uh, programs. One is film, future education, leadership and management. And the second is public speaking. And the third is lead or led by the leadership course. And uh, we have one YouTube channel with the name of Jahaneman. And in this way, in these areas, EDUFAM works. And the founder of EDUFAM, you all know, this is a brief introduction of the founder. Uh, in 2022, we have collaborated with ACE International Singapore. Dr. Veera Manathan is the managing director of ACE International Singapore. And that was really a great collaboration. And successfully, both of us have conducted lots of community initiative programs and lots of students development programs. And I am very much fortunate to uh, announce that our collaboration is still continuing. And this year as well, we are going to do lots of things together. And uh, today, uh, I am opening the opportunity for all the uh, trainers, coaches, mentors to come forward and to collaborate, even individuals, not necessarily that you own your company, then you can collaborate. Even if you are an individual, you can collaborate with us. Then uh, our other initiatives are that we have one in um, trust, charitable trust. Under the charitable trust, we run one school, primary school, the Explorer Academy. It's in Okla, New Delhi, uh, India. And then we uh, run uh, women empowerment programs and we run Sufa Club and we run APJ Abdul Kalam Club for Innovative and Research. So these are some more initiatives of uh, our organizations or we can say the sister concern. Our leadership camps, we were able to con conduct nine leadership camps and the participants in each batches were like different. In some, uh, we were able to cater to 13 while in others, we were able to uh, cater to uh, 30. So it differs that uh, for the um, availability of the uh, professionals and the students, but we were able to conduct nine batches. What I firmly believe in is that when we announce for the batches and we even we get one registration, that also we respect the person who has shown interest. And even with one person, we run the batch. But so far it has not happened that only one person has come. But even if it is going to happen in future and one person is coming, then also we will be ready to conduct that course. Then we were able to have uh, public speaking, uh, three sessions. And uh, by the grace of Almighty, all our students have performed really very well in these three sessions of MLKJ Club. And Mr. David is uh, permanently partner in this uh, initiative. I am very much grateful to David. He is going to speak to us shortly. And the students in this uh, public speaking is even from KG to grade uh, 9 and 10. And uh, irrespective of their age, they all take keen interest in learning the public speaking, English public speaking, and they are regularly, they were regularly being trained. Then we were able to conduct four teachers training programs. As you know, the teachers are important. And we were able to conduct uh, even awards, award uh, ceremony for the teachers and the women. It was unstoppable, unstoppable women awards with the collaboration of ACE International. We were able to give them the awards on the International Women Day on uh, 8th March. Then recently, we were able to conduct one Outstanding Global Leaders Award 2023 in Singapore. And it was really a grand success. It was done with the collaboration of ACE International Singapore. And there were many individuals who have supported us and they were they come forward to support us in our uh, this initiative of awarding the people. This was uh, 2022 when we were able to conduct uh, a program in Singapore. And that was like, uh, uh, outstanding global leadership. This was last year's in during May we conducted and now in 2023 we conducted during January. And then we were able to even conduct uh, uh, the uh, global GRU award, innovative GRU award. And uh, it was conducted on the occasion of uh, Teachers Day, International Teachers Day on 5th October. 
and we were very much happy to see that there were many teachers who come forward and who have uh, nominated themselves and we have seen their caliber and it was really worth appreci appreciating them. It was conducted with the collaboration of ACE International. Now, these are some of the people who have uh, supported us during 2022 in our programs, like as guest speakers, as mentors, as coaches, as um, supporters, and they all, they all are the one who have appeared in our programs or in our uh, channel shows or in our other initiatives. We are very much grateful mm -hmm. to them. It, it, they like like uh, due to short of time, I'm not able to even uh, read out their names individually, but I'm showing my gratitude to each one of them. You can see some of the faces are even today present here, those who can uh, you find in this. So thank you very much. My sincere gratitude to all these collaborators who have collaborated uh, last year with us. So thank you. It is just brief glimpses in details. We are we are uploading the reports on our channel, Jahaneman. You, those who are interested, they can go through. But uh, shortly after the speeches of our honorable speakers, we are going to announce our almanac. And this year we have brought some innovative ideas and we have changed a few initiatives that will be really interesting for all of us to know. Thank you very much. Now next, let me invite Mr. David Haslam. Mr. David Haslam is from United Kingdom, but he has been working in USA and uh, he has spent some years in Singapore as well. And now he is Philippine and he is very much into training, mentoring, and coaching the students on different aspects on leadership, on personal development, self-management, and above all, public speaking. So Mr. David, over to you, please. Thank you so much, Dr. Halima. It is a pleasure to be here today, celebrating our past and looking forward to our future. I'm really looking forward to working with you again this year, Doctor, and the students, of course. What I want to mention today is how common it is to underrate children and their knowledge, their experience, and their sheer power, their will, their drive, their creativity. And nobody should underestimate the children. And children across the globe, but also children in a country like India, because these students are just simply amazing. They inspire me so much. That is why it is a delight to work with them every week, sometimes twice a week, sometimes three times a week. But I'm all, always astonished about what they do, what they achieve, and how they can overcome obstacles and really get to the, the meat and potatoes of what they're talking about. There's three particular students that have done exceptionally well in the past 12 months. And um, the first one is absolutely amazing. He's a delightful little man, but a big heart and a big soul and a big amount of courage. I'm talking about Abdur. Abdur is five years old, or he was when I started listening to him. All full of energy, smiles, delights, everything. And he truly is an inspiration. And so much so that he won, I believe, four awards uh, in this past year for his speaking abilities and his sheer energy and, and courageousness. So, Abdur, you did so well, and I'm looking forward to this year working with you even further. The next one is Ishan. Ishan did fantastically well. He competed in the World Championships of Agora Public Speaking in August, um, and he was in the place in the top five in the world for his category of speaking. And he does a lot of support work with Dr. Lima, rounding up the students, making sure they all do their forms and everything they need to uh, get their scores put in place so we can monitor their progress and things like that. So he is a, definitely a leader in the making, and uh, he is a great public speaker as well. I recently was part of an event where we had five adult public speakers and four uh, student public speakers, and he rated above three of the five 
experienced adult public speakers when I did all the ratings and scorings of the, the thing. So he is an exceptional student, an exceptional young man, and he's grown from strength to strength. I'm looking forward to working with him again this coming year. And the third student is Maria Shams. She did an incredible job um, improving herself every single time she spoke. It was better and better. She was invited to speak at uh, the Singapore Agora Group, which is uh, 30, usually 25 to 30 uh, adults, public speakers in that group. And she knocked it out of the park. She did a fantastic job. She was the first one of the the MLK um, public speaking group to join the Singapore group and uh, did an exceptional job at that. And she goes from strength to strength as well. The main thing that, it's, that we teach the students is public speaking, of, of course, but also overcoming difficulties and sticking with the program. If you can stick it out and carry on improving and getting better and better, that is one of the key leadership traits. Leaders don't give up in the middle of a project or the middle of a thing that is causing them problems or challenges. Leaders keep going and they pull the rest of their team through as well. And that's been shown time and time again. That's a key trait in any leadership program or function that you might have. And uh, the students do that and they show that they can take on multiple challenges at the same time and constant improvement and constantly getting better. Bear in mind that uh, I'm currently 57 years old and I have um, about 30 years experience in public speaking. That's a lot of, a lot of time and a lot of speeches and everything else like that. But Abdul, for example, he's currently five years old. By the time he reaches my age, he'll have over half a century worth of public speaking under his belt. It'll be fantastic. It'll be absolutely incredible. And um, he has that opportunity. I recently talked to his mother about this as well uh, through Facebook. And uh, she contacted me to thank me for the help in the program. And I turned around and thanked her for letting me have the opportunity to hear him speak and get inspired by his energy and everything else like that. So I encourage parents, students, and also the, the teachers and mentors that we have in this group to encourage all levels to get involved with public speaking because it will be a lifelong skill. If you're good at public speaking, you can use it to your advantage, and that's what it's all about. You need competitive advantage in every situation in the world, whether it's talking to your parents about what you want for Christmas or what you want, want to do on vacation or holiday, whatever it is, um, to getting a job, to talking to teachers, to talking to fellow co-workers. It doesn't matter. If you're good at public speaking, you have big advantages in your life and they will last a lifetime, these skills. So with that, I am really looking forward to 2023 and what it's going to bring and what we can learn from the students as well as teach them and i'm really looking forward to being inspired all the way along and don't underestimate a child thank you very thank much you. back thank over you. to you dr lima thank you very much david thank you it was really wonderful especially when you mentioned three students name they really uh, deserve a big round of applause they have proved themselves within a year you have found, uh, we have found that there was there was a vast difference of their communication skills. Uh, my humble request to the speakers is that since we have small kids as well in this uh, program, they are eagerly waiting for their uh, almanac. So kindly be very brief. Now I would request Dr. MC Pichai, who doesn't require any introduction because all of us here are very well aware that he is a person who is well known in the business field, who is well known in the politics field, who is well known in the welfare field, and who is, although in uh, Malaysia, but from Malaysia, he rules over the world, all around the world. So thank you very much, Mr. Pichai, for joining us. And please go ahead with your golden words. A very good evening, Dr. Halima Sadia. It's uh, my man's pleasure again to address uh, this evening, 
and uh, the fellow speakers who spoke very well, very inspiring and uh, very admirable, which uh, I, I believe uh, everyone learned from them. As I always say, wise men learn from others and fools learn through their own experiences. So here, and it's a great pleasure that I'm given an opportunity to say a few words. And uh, I really have to, uh, uh, what you call, uh, appreciate your noble and uh, great services to the young growing uh, leaders, especially the infants who have well groomed and uh, they are also very dynamically, positively motivated with uh, positive attitudes and uh, they, they are, you are grooming them to be great, great, great fellows who will be a very uh, opportunist group. I mean, a benefited group, I would say, is a benefited group. As we always say, nothing is impossible if you think you can. Everything is possible. Only a right planning and right action will make everybody successful. But today I'm speaking from Chennai, because always I will be speaking from Malaysia, but I'm in Chennai now at Cosmopolitan Club in Mount Road, and I'm speaking from my room. So it's in fact, I was just, uh, I was very tired and I opened a, a mobile and see that you are inviting us to have a word. So it's again, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I didn't plan anything, but I'm speaking from my mind. And uh, let us let this program grow up to a very wonderful and uh, excellent program. And my colleague, uh, uh, Professor Dr. Ramanathan, who is a very admirable lab man and who has, uh, was with me until 4.30 this evening and he has left and now he'll be joining the uh, meeting with you. So Dr. Halima, please, please, please proceed with your wonderful and dynamic and uh, excellent services to the young leaders and groom them to be a positive winners of the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Halima. And uh, again, I'd like to thank uh, Mahendran Periyasamy, who has given very, 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 very inspiring. I, I really marked his words and my highest appreciation for him and the fellow doctor, I couldn't uh, recollect his name. And even doctor, this now the man who spoke from, uh, from England. Anyway, thank you very much. And uh, I appreciate your preference for giving me a chance to speak this evening. Thank you. Thank you. And very much, uh, I will uh, thank again to everyone. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pichai. Very well spoken. And thank you for your motivational words. Now, next, we have Mr. Nara, again from Malaysia. Mr. Nara Subramaniam has to his credit of having been at the highest levels of management with some of the largest companies in the world having served them for more than 40 years. He is presently the founder of and CEO of his business and financial advisory firm called Resolve Asia. So thank you very much, Mr. Nara, for joining us this evening. Now over to you, kindly say a few words when we are going to launch our Almanac for 2023. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nara Subramaniam speaking to you from uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And a big thank you to Dr. Halima for inviting me to this platform. And also congratulations to you on the occasion of the launch of the uh, Almanac. And, uh, you know, so many uh, good advice has been spoken by, by all the wonderful uh, speakers ahead of me. And I was just thinking about uh, key success factors and maybe something which might be useful for all the, uh, you know, the young participants out here. And the key success factors to me that I've always found was to internalize our learnings and enhance our beliefs. So for me, central of my sources of learning was always uh, Mada, Pida, Guru and Devam. This is the belief that I, I grew up with and uh, based on uh, you know, respect for parents, teachers and gurus and the core values that have been ingrained in me and what I continue to uh, apply. So some of the principles which I have applied all through my life and various stages of my life was uh, beginning with the end in mind, sharpening the saw, continuous learning, and uh, synergizing, being proactive, putting first things first, and as well as seek first to understand, think win-win. Uh, 
uh, you may may be recognizing many of these things. You're right. It's all from Stephen Covey, and uh, this is he has been one of my big gurus. And many of you will know about the seven habits. And then I found out that these are the same things which my parents have been teaching me. So learning begins from home. One of the things which some of you may know, the eighth habit. This is a very important habit, finding your voice and inspiring others to find their voice. This is what Stephen Covey has said. It's a unique personal significance. So those who can find their voice and inspire others are the leaders that the world needs right now and for the future. So knowing how to articulate, having the courage to do it and doing it, encouraging others to collaborate and helping the world to transform. So uh, just a very quick message to all of you. And for me, uh, my suggestion, guidance, surround yourself with people who will make you a better person. So best wishes to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Halima, and uh, congratulations on your launching of the Almanac. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was really very brief, short, and crisp. Thank you for your grand message to all of us. And now I would like to request Dr. B. Ramanathan. Dr. B. Ramanathan, who is the Managing Director of AC International Singapore. Over to you, Mr. Ram. Hello. Uh, good evening, Dr. Hari Mansadia and the distinguished guests speakers and students. Really, it is wonderful to join uh, for, for this uh, auspicious occasion. Uh, my heartfelt congratulations to the alma maters. And especially the speakers have narrated and explained the way of the contents, which are very, very useful. And it is beneficial for each and everyone who are listening to uh, this particular occasion. Uh, myself and uh, Dr. P.J. are in Chennai as well. Uh, it's very uh, memorable occasion for us to uh, attend certain events here. In today morning also we join hand to attend a, an event. I would like to say a few words for the students, especially when your knowledge is creating the way for you, it is the wisdom uh, and an eye opening for you. And then the skill sets which are making the performing performance value for you to make the challenges into opportunities and your attitude is making your altitude. KSA, knowledge, skills, and attitude, these are all the golden words and you have to keep it forever. Lifelong learning is the good strategy. So whenever, wherever it is possible, please keep you are learning go ahead and it is making you to help and go far ahead for your goal sets to achieve and making the greater heights to come to your feet that is the way you have to explore and engage your life in coming days especially dr halima zadia is a wonderful leader she is having the personalities and other accomplishments which are making you to get motivate and always keep the connection with the eminent personalities in the global leadership uh, people. So you can be able to continue the alma mater forever with the newcomers as well as the older people, make your presence and keeping it as a value added kind of things in your life. Thank you for inviting me and sharing my views. Uh, over to Dr. Halima Sadia. Congratulations for all of you to join today's session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ram. And I hope that our next initiative, if uh, everything is going to work out well, we are going to have yeah. in all these. And that's going uh -huh. to be women empowerment program where men are also invited, but men are more, like more encouraged to come forward for the women empowerment program. And on this occasion, yeah. we are planning to award some of the powerful ladies and uh, I, we wish um, that all of us, those who are here, all the mentors of EduFam can assemble in Maldives and we can plan some, uh, some uh, more initiatives, how we are going to be beneficial for this world, for this globe. Because Definitely. the next century is going to be the women's century. That's what the people say with the due apology to all men present here. Thank you very much, Dr. Ram. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, it's just I, I'm just like taking the advantage of uh, being a host of this evening. That's why I'm speaking whatever comes to my mind. But I'm I was just uh, saying that it is that that women need more empowerment so that we can have balance in the world. Thank Definitely. You. Yes. It is uh, possible. Okay. Thank you very much for supporting. Our next speaker is Mr. Shamir. May I request Mr. Shamir to kindly say a few words? Yes, Mr. Shamir, over to you. Please unmute yourself and speak. Yeah. So I was not able to unmute first. Yeah. Now I'm, yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Halima. Uh, great to see uh, Mr. Ramnathan as well. He was with me yesterday and we had a wonderful session at uh, Abhinashtingham University. Great to see Dr. Uh, Pichai as well, connecting from uh, Chennai. I hope I, I, I get to see him uh, in Coimbatore. And uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Halima, we have been touched uh, uh, with me for, uh, you know, uh, say like three or four months, but the way she has been leading, uh, you know, a crop of leaders, especially Dr. Ramana, then Dr. Pichai, and we have uh, Dr. Ma Mr. Mahendran as well. So we have um, exciting uh, leaders, exciting leaders from uh, the, the, the South Asian uh, region. And uh, the way she has been uh, in driving the leadership process, is so important that I've been always telling that I, and, and I, I even told yesterday that during the meet with Dr. Ramana that uh, we, uh, the world needs more leaders a lot of problem statements we have a lot of uh, we need a lot of uh, we need a lot of uh, exciting products uh, exciting solutions ex exciting services um, that can provide positive impact to the society and that is why uh, the sakra ecosystem here in in this part of tamil nadu is very active and i'm i'm very happy that i've been uh, part of it and i'm also happy that uh, uh, the, the, dr halima is also uh, you know, trying to understand the ecosystem, what, uh, you know, leadership is all about, uh, what kind of leaders um, have to be created at, at this uh, uh, critical juncture where the world, you know, is facing quite a lot of problems and uh, approaching um, towards a zero, uh, towards um, a lot of, um, you know, crisis. Um, you know, starting from poverty, we have so many sustainable issues as well. So uh, we need to produce leaders. And now is the time. So I wish uh, Dr. Halima all the best. Uh, this will be an excellent platform uh, for creating more leaders uh, in this uh, part of the world. And I, I like to finish. I like to finish. Uh, you know, my, my rather small talk with a quote uh, that I heard from Osho. Osho was once asked, the great uh, you know philosopher Osho or Bhagwan Rajneesh was once asked, what was communication? So he had a very beautiful answer for it. Communication is the transfer of love and trust. Such beautiful words. You, you really can't imagine the depth of the word, the, the, the kind of, uh, you know, the, the kind of impact, you know, that will have when you, when you have every communication mode marked by, you know, love and trust. But that is what is Dr. Ali, Dr. Halima is all about. So her communication process, her leadership process is all about love and uh, trust. So I wish uh, Dr. Halima, Edufam International, and her beautiful team all uh, the very best for uh, you know releasing the Almanac. And I'm so happy to join this journey along with uh, Dr. Ramanath and Dr. Pichai Mahendra and all the other stalwarts that you know we have been uh, meeting uh, uh, meeting in this um, you know session and will meet in the future. Thank you so much, Dr. Halima. Uh, for having invited me over uh, for this almanac. Yes, I, I forgot the session and uh, good that you uh, uh, sent me a last minute reminder, uh, lest I don't forget, but I'll be more careful uh, uh, the next time if, if there's something that Dr. Halima is, uh, uh, you know, participating or request meeting part, I'll make sure that I come early for the meet as well. Thank you, Dr. Halima, and thank you for the uh, lineup of speakers that we have. Uh, wish you all, uh, wish you all a happy belated Pongal as well. Uh, just concluded in this part of the world, and may your lives shine brightly as the sun 
and um, uh, may our future generations um, inspire with love, joy, and happiness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shamir. And when you have wished all of us happy Pongal, so along with happy Pongal, let us wish a new Chinese year as well. The world is now celebrating new Chinese year and we are celebrating Pongal in our country in India. So oh, I wish you all. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank you for your motivating words. Now this is the time when we are going to really launch our almanac and we are going to talk about that, that what innovation we have brought this time and what all we are going to offer to the public through our platform EduFam International. So ladies and gentlemen, EduFam International Academy is just one year old. And as you all know that when a child is one year old, the child faces lots of issues and problems and that is called teething problems. And that's what EduFam International is in that stage. And the biggest uh, challenge is that so far, whatever we are able to do, it is just organic. So now this is the time when we, are, we have to expand our wings and we have to go uh, to reach to the masses. And that's what we are looking forward to the people who are in different fields, the people from media, the people especially from the social media, to collaborate with us so that the benefit of this can reach to the larger group and to the it can go to the masses. See, uh, we are going to have like lots of leadership courses and here January we'll have the, co the course on the purpose of life. February is going to be to have on goal setting. And then we have in the March, and then we have in the month of April, then May, then June. And in this way, we have designed the leadership course for 12 months, like till December, we have designed this course. This time we have added the leadership course for kids as well. And in the kids, we have included one video class and second interactive class on Zoom. And then we are going to have online Zoom through different apps. And the content that we, are, that we are going to cover in this is leadership why, values for the leader, taking initiative, time management, talent management, and self-management. And the month that we have selected for the students is August, September, and December. So these three months are for the kids leadership courses. Now, as you all know that our leadership courses have one month leadership challenge. We received lots of requests from the participant and the associate participants that sometimes they really find it hard to attend all one month leadership course. So we have now designed even weekly, one week course, week long course. So here you can see that we have online leadership course for one week. Then a leader speaks, we have talk show on Friday. Then again, online leadership course for one week. Then free masterclass, why and how, of, why and how a leader exists. So in this way, we have designed January, February, March, April, May, and June. And you all can see that all the courses details you can get by sending us a WhatsApp message and the fees for all the courses are already written here in Singapore dollar that can be very easily converted into INR. Now this is third leadership course. This time we have different types of leadership courses like one month leadership challenge for the teachers because earlier we used to have the common group and the teachers, they have their own challenges. So those challenges were uh, not into like highlight, a few were taken, but while others were not taken. So now we have segregated. So September will be dedicated for the teachers leadership course as September is the teachers month. Then October is going to be for the educators, like global educators leadership. So only educators will be enrolled for this. And then November is going to be for the online trainers because there are, potential in the youth, I can see especially that they have lots of content, they have lots of ideas, they have lots of 
communication skills, but they don't have the uh, initial, they don't know the way that how to go and how to conduct the uh, courses online. So this is one month leadership challenge for the online trainers will be there. And then in December, we are going to have award ceremony and all the completion certificates and award ceremonies will be, awards will be given during the month of September. December, I'm sorry, during the month of December. The course fee is already written. It is all in Singapore dollar that can be converted in INR. It is 100 Singapore dollar. Now moving further, EduFam International uh, offers something that is for the, uh, for the benefit of all, and there are no charges for that. That is Monday will be Monday motivation. Tuesday will be Tuesday tips. Wednesday will be Wednesday wisdom. Thursday will be Thursday test. Mm -hmm. And Friday will be Friday fun. And Saturday will be Saturday secret. And this all will continue daily from 25th to 15th December. And it's going to be through uh, WhatsApp in the group that is EduFam International Group. If you are not the part of that group, then you can join today. We will share the link of EduFam. So daily you can get all these things that is given here. And for this, there are no charges. It is just complimentary for the people, those who are the part of EduFam International family. Then as I have said that EduFam has a channel as well, that is Jahaneman YouTube channel. So on Jahaneman YouTube channel, we try to present some very useful uh, programs. And our useful programs are that Monday we have dedicated for the teachers and film future education leadership and management will be taken up in the first week. The educators will be invited to speak on the different aspects of the education. Then Tuesday is going to be lead or led by. Wednesday is going to be dedicated for the women empowerment, Nari Tere Man Ki Baat. And Thursday is going to be on cloud nine that is going to highlight the achievers. And achievers may be, uh, their journey will be counted, not their just destination. The people who have like started from the humble background and they have achieved uh, some milestone in their lives will be contacted and they will be, uh, they will be interviewed and their talk show will be there on cloud nine. Friday is going to be Sufa Club as, as usual. Every Friday we have Sufa Club. And then Saturday is going to be the APJ Abdul Kalam Club and then the Purple Book. This is also a Purple Book is last year's program that we are going to continue. And uh, this will be the weekly program on Jahaneman. And students especially are very much keen to participate in these programs like Sufa Club, APJ Abdul Kalam Club, then Purple Book, then uh, Mini Teacher. All these programs are especially for the students. They can participate in this. Now next we are we have this time developed one course for the homemakers and the women especially. And this course is going to be self-care challenge. And this is going to be for 30 days. And in 30 days, they will be getting 30 challenges. And through those challenges, they are going to acquire some good habits and those uh, self-care habits are going to give them satisfaction and success in life. And they are going to be more effective in their own fields, in whatever fields they are. They, they will feel themselves satisfied and they will find a purpose of life. So this is a new course that we have introduced this time exclusively for the women and for the homemakers. Those who are at home, they, are, they have great potential that we are, but we are not able to tap them fully. EduFam is trying to tap their potentials, the homemakers' potentials. Now there are uh, certain competitions that we organize every year. So here we have jotted down those competitions will in advance so that all the students will be well aware that these competitions are going to be there and they can prepare themselves and trophies and certificates will be given. This uh, December also I was in India and, uh, and we have distributed lots of trophies during that period of time to all the winners who were the winners of throughout the year. And next year, uh, this year also in December, we are going to give them the trophies and certificates. In fact, in some of the uh, competitions, like Sufa Club competitions, we give them the cash awards as well. It depends on the uh, difficulty level of the competition. So January is going to be heavy. My resolution, it is already done. Now 26, we are going to have Republic Day special competition. February, how to beat exam phobia. It is going to be a presentation. Then April, Shakespearean Creativity Challenge. 
So online challenge will be there within 24 hours. They have to submit their creativity. May will be my life, my choice. Labor Day speech will be there on 1st May. August will be patriotic song and speech competition. October will be innovation and research competition on the birth anniversary of APJ Abdul Kalamji. Then September is going to be readathon, long reading in Urdu and Hindi. And November is going to be the child labor writing a book, child author, I'm sorry. It is going to be the child author. They will be given workshops on how to write a book and they will be motivated to prepare or to write their own books in November. There will be a workshop on that. And then December, all the awards will be distributed. So this is the program as far as competitions are concerned. Now, this is our WhatsApp and email IDs. You all can contact us. Now, coming to today, that those who have joined us this evening, we have their attendance here with us. So those who have joined us this evening, we are going to give them in all the courses, whatever fees we have announced, we are going to give them a straightforward 50% discount. So that's what I was telling the students that please join this so that today is a special day and you all will get 50% uh, concession on all the courses so that you can participate throughout the year and you can be benefited with these courses throughout the year. So this is the launching of Almanac. I know that it is just a briefing. You all need elaboration on this. You all need like explanation about each and every course. So we'll try to contact you, uh, whosoever is willing to participate and we'll give you the details. We'll send you the brochures of each and every competition and each and every program so that you can go through and you can take part in this. So that's all from me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that it's going, to, I know it is going to be a challenging task even for the organizers, but this is the way we are going to be on the roller coaster throughout the year and we are going to uh, push ourselves to achieve the milestones that we have decided for 2023. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your support. Now, Mr. Hamid Hassan has joined us. Mr. Hamid Hassan is also our well-wisher and collaborator. Uh, may I request Mr. Hamid Hassan to kindly go ahead with his words. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Dr. Hadima, for inviting me to this meeting today. And I congratulate you for the annual calendar of VeggieFam International. And I was listening to other speakers before me, and I was really overwhel overwhelmed by the ideas and the philosophies of uh, my previous speakers. And I even met uh, Dr. And here. Mr. Hamid, uh, are you speaking? Mr. Hamid, are you speaking? I think there is some issue of connectivity. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, meanwhile, when uh, Mr. Hamid is fixing his connection, let me open the forum and let me open the house for general discussion. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, if you want to ask anything, any clarification, you are most welcome, you can ask. Please raise up your hand so that you can you can be given. Uh... Yes, Aprozul Haq Saab, you need not to raise hand. You can speak directly. <laughs> that was for the children. Yeah, Dr. Sadia, it is really very stimulating uh, programs. And uh, the whole year, it is very uh, busy uh, programs. Um, I was thinking that uh, if you add some very important programs on food and nutrition and, and bakery and something like uh, this is my speciality actually I have been professor dean and head of the department for food technology for women that you have some programs for women exclusively and these programs will be very very uh, important to start with adufem so and uh, I would be more than happy if I can, I have everything ready with me, the curriculum and everything, so that I can visit you are as you are based in uh, Maldives now. 
right now or in singapore and dr sajid maldives 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 yeah so i can visit there and i can uh, would like to contribute uh, uh, in this direction sure sir thank you very much and that's what we are looking forward for collaboration so with your collaboration if you are able to uh, start course on food and nutrition that will be really very beneficial for the women thank you very much we'll uh, discuss on this uh, matter sir thank you very much now yes uh, sharia go ahead yes ma'am ma'am i want to thank you you i think this program this series in this year 2023 this will be very helpful and uh, like uh, very helpful and as well as challenging for all the people and for all the students and for all the learners so i'm really thankful to dr halima sadia ma'am and all the faculties of edu farm international academy thank you ma'am for giving me this opportunity thank you my dear and looking forward for your participation in all the programs that is designed for the students sure ma'am thank you now may i request other students if they have okay ziauddin abidin are also here yes dr zia would you like to say uh good evening everyone uh yeah i i actually i don't know what is the program you know let me join with you next time you know i can i can say some few words we uh, have launched this... our almanac for the year edufam almanac we have launched like the whole year programs we have discussed and we have informed the public that this is the program edufam is going to do throughout the year this is okay right right, right. so the the participants are the particularly students are uh, of which age or you know this is like for different age we have different programs we have for adults we have for women we have for students we have for professionals so different types of programs we are offering to different age group all right right so but still you know uh, this uh, this is a beautiful program what you are uh, you know Uh, what you are engaging, and uh, I don't know from where you are uh, getting lot of you know resource people. So that is also a great you know networking you have, and uh, moreover uh, the the participants, the students, and the children will be uh, you know will be more beneficial by your programs what you are doing, and in 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 future uh, because you know as I as I, as I i think uh, earlier we have discussed also that you know uh, we have been uh, uh, it is it was very difficult uh, for us to find such you know programs so we we got it uh, when we were adult so that is how you know it is it is going to be you know you are contributing a lot to the uh, you know to the society and basically you know this this will uh, uh, hats off for you for doing this and of course uh, you know i'm i'm sure that see the the, the engineering or medical or whatever uh, programs are there they are there but if you motivate people that is the only you know only the key in developing people so you. the if you motivate them they can become doctors they can become engineers or they can become anything without motivation they will become nothing that's what i believe thank you very much thank you thank you dr zia sahab for your motivating words and we are open for the collaboration as you yourself uh, i know that you are a trainer and a coach in uae so you are also most welcome for collaboration for your course whatever you have designed for the college students or the school students or whatever you have so we are looking forward uh, for the collaboration of the mentors coaches and uh, uh, the trainers as well and from even from the digital uh, arena for digital marketing people also we are open to collaborate thank you very much thank you thank you very much now this is a time to announce the result of yesterday's competition there are people waiting eagerly so although i know that everybody has spoken very well yesterday 
the judges have given me the feedback that it was really uh, a very well prepared program. The students presented the resolution for the year. However, we have the limitation of only three awards, then naturally we can announce only three names. So those whose names are not there, please don't be disappointed. There are lots of competitions coming up. There are lots of programs coming up and you will get the awards in those competitions and uh, programs. So don't be disheartened. Those who are not getting the award in this particular competition, I will, uh, my love is for those uh, participants. So anyway, on the third position, we have Sharia from Jammu and Kashmir. Sharia, congratulations. You are on the third position in the resolution competition. On the second position, we have Ishan Ahmad from Assam. Congratulations, Ishan Ahmad. You are on the second position. And on first position, we have Mariam from New Delhi. Congratulations, Mariam. Mariam Ansari, congratulations. You are on the first position from the Explorer Academy. So that's all three uh, best uh, resolution presenters are here. Thank you for participating in the competition. And thank you everyone for being this evening. With this, we come to the end of today's program. And I express my gratitude to each one of you. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Children, if you can open your videos, we can have the photograph. All of you, please open your videos. All of you, please open your videos. I can see Maria, Mishan, and Sharia. All three of us, them are here with their video on. Maria Shams. Mohammad Rizwan, Asna, Nadia, please. Kumera, Kumera. Please the videos. Okay, smile, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care and bye bye.